Welcome back to Natal B Reefing and this is a one year update uh, since removing sand from the Mini Reef 120. Now I removed the sand because I don't know I felt like it uh, it wasn't really a decision it was probably based on the ULM series that BRS did and uh, I thought well if they reckon it's going to be easier then I'm going to try it and I must be honest I think it is easier. I removed all the sand in one go, but luckily I had Biomedia, um, a whole bunch of bioblocks and marine pure balls and all the rest of it in the sump, which had been in there for maybe close to three years almost. Um, oh, Allah, it's about two years, two and a bit years. So it didn't really cause that much of an issue, but I did find in the first six, seven months or so, there was constantly this thick, thick, thick layer of like, you can see a little bit of it now. I'd, I'd say maybe it's diatoms, maybe. It's like a dusty sort of, not dust as in like coral dust and stuff. It's it's actually like, um, I thought it was a type of algae and maybe it is, but it's easy to dust off. The snails just chop it off so quick anyway. Um, but yeah, that, that was everywhere. It collects all over the glass, all over the bottom. It was all over the back. Um, it was literally cut, coating that overflow thing. It looked like, like a like wave like a wavy almost like a red grass just growing everywhere i even thought it was cyano and i did a treatment for cyano but that didn't get rid of it so it probably wasn't um but that's what i did get a lot of i didn't really get news this algae i got some at the very very top but once i added the turbo snails and the trochus snails um it was history within a couple of days uh, the growth of the coral in the last sort of three months and especially in the last three maybe three and a bit weeks since switching from red sea to triton has been insane um that was stuck down maybe maybe about three weeks ago maybe four weeks ago um and we can already see the um how it's now encrusting the glue and almost encrusted onto rock already uh that happened so fast uh this little dude here is called a maleficent and uh it's looking really, really happy. It's sprouting out new everything. Like every day, I think there's a new little piece coming, coming off of it. Um, so I'm really happy with that guy. The other piece is this uh, blue acro, or bluey purple acro, also completely encrusting the frag plug, which it was, I mean, it was trying, but it never actually took off. This wild caught acro at the back here has done a very similar thing, but if you look at the base, you can see the um, how it's starting to go over the top of the glue and even the very very bottom which is the cut edge has encrusted and it's got new um, a new little arm or something coming out of it the the corals are really really happy and now in this I'd say since modifying the sump what I did to the sump was I just this happened today I uh, spun the sump around so the intent this return chamber was actually intended to be the first chamber so what I did was I removed a small baffle that was here to create a first chamber that has lots and lots of space so I've got a pump for the Pax Bellum I've got all the biomedia and I've got my skimmer in here and on this side I've just got the return pump the dosing lines um, and the ATO is there so I did this, I've now got probably about 140-ish liters, I'd say. Total volume, maybe 135-ish. So I think I've probably increased my volume by about 10 to 15 liters by, by doing that change. So now that I've got about 135 liters in this tank, um, I'm using 4.6 mils of Triton every day, uh, which is about double what they say per 100 liters uh, to start with so it's because everything is growing so fast. So the colors are nice. Everything is growing um, Bare bottom versus sand. I find this much easier to clean. I also have can crank the flow Really 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 high now in bigger tanks You might be able to put a lot of flow through without disrupting the sand too much But in a small tank like this you try and put enough flow to make those guys at the top really happy and this sand goes everywhere like it, it's not it's just it's chaos so now I think I can put as hard as I like up there I've just got to watch out for what the torch does you can see in the beginning I was experimenting and up the flow was too high so that torch tried to stop bailing out with that polyp bail out from there 
but somehow it decided no, it was happy and it, it continued to live. Um, but yeah, so I'd say the pros are that it's easier to clean, uh, you can have more flow, and personally I think, I, I think it looks nicer in this tank because this doesn't look like a reef, it doesn't look like a piece of the ocean. Uh, the rock structure that I have and the way I've set it up, it's not intended to look like the ocean. What I wanted to do was make something that could show off the corals. So I am now able to put a lot of flow very, very high through this and I'm really happy with how it looks. Um, the cons of having no sand, I suppose aesthetically it doesn't look like the ocean. Every person that comes to your house wants to know why is there no sand in your tank. And I guess it also limits you on having those sand sifting critters, certain types of fish. Um, but in a small tank like this, I don't, I couldn't really put too many other things in it anyway. So right now, 12 months down, no sand. I'm really, really happy with the choice. And I think that it has benefited this reef tank a lot um, in removing the sand. So. I'm looking forward to the next 12 months to see what happens and um, see how I go maybe six to eight months from now with the Triton and see uh, how long it's going to take for these guys to reach the water surface. They're not, they're not that far yet and they're extending quite a bit on the tips already. So I am, uh, I'm really excited and if any of you guys have been watching for a whole year, thank you very much and for all of you guys that managed to stay to the end of these videos, thank you even more. And um, I'll continue to make videos and hopefully try and get a bit more slick with them and the production and whatever else over the next 12 to 18 months. But I just want to make documentation of this so people with similar tanks can enjoy it and they can maybe get some ideas and see what they can do. So um, thanks for watching and uh, peace.